Hello everyone. Throughout the course, I used a program called PyChart and did all my coding in it. To be able to, to, be able to Python code, uh, we need to install a few things. First, we write Python on Google and click the first site. Welcome to python.org. Here, I click download section. You see it's 3.13.3 version. I click it. The download will start. Here, just make sure you download the latest version. I double, I click it. So I already installed Python. That's why this page, this page appears. What I'm doing, I upgrade now. You, you will not see this screen. You just see, just install. So I click upgrade now. I'm installing it. Yes, after waiting one or two minutes, setup is successful setup was successful i close this tab next go back to google so after search for pycharm you will need to download this program as well on the website i click pycharm the first page the first website here i click download i accept all cookies on the website you will see two versions one paid uh, is professional one called professional and a free one called community edition here in this course we will use free community edition it's completely free and more than enough for our needs i click download i'm using windows so after one minute download the setup file will be completed yes finally we downloaded the setup file I click setup file. So here I follow the instruction. I click next. I already installed PyCharm. That's why uh, this appears on the screen. If I select this one uh, that you want to uninstall, I don't want to uninstall. You will uh, click next, next, next. And after a few next, you will download PyCharm edition, PyCharm community edition. I already installed PyCharm, that's why right now I quit it. So how we use PyCharm? For example, I open a folder here. I say new and then folder. My folder name could be like first project. It could be any name. So after that, I open PyCharm. I double click to PyCharm. Here. For opening the folder that uh, what you want, I click here, I say file and then open. After that, I choose file location. Here, you see first project. If I say OK, you will see main.pi is auto-generated, is automatically created. I did nothing for creating this. So right now everything is ready for writing our codes. In next lesson, we will start by printing something uh, to the screen and, and see you soon in next lesson.